right, test, test, test. Um, hope it's working. Let's see, I need to just, I'm just checking something here real quick. Uh, nothing dropped, which is awesome. Um, let me see how it is. Let me listen to myself. Let's see. Oh, hello. Whoa, Erwin. Whoa. It's been a while. Hello. What's up? I'm just doing an update broadcast. I'm going to show some of the stuff I'm working on. I hope you're doing fine, Erwin. Uh, let's see. So right here, I just wanted to show I was working on a series like little Funko style figures. I thought of doing some of the YouTubers right here. Um, this is like Vanos right here I made. I also printed it. Uh, I don't have my camera set up right now to show it. But that's the Vanos one. Uh, I have, I think I have this one recorded. I just haven't edited it yet. <laughs> so I have a series of, uh, of, um, series of videos actually I have recorded. I just haven't edited. <laughs> Thanks, yeah. So it's in two parts. I got the body part right here. Has a little peg right here. And then I got the head, whoops, parts. If I could switch to it. There it goes. Right there. And it works. It prints and I have it. I just haven't. I I just been meaning to make the video. Like I, I made the video, I just haven't edited it, as I said. Thanks. Um So I got that. Uh let me just pause my video. Okay, there it goes. Um I was I'm just gonna show everything. Uh I have uh plans for and the commissions I'm working on for some people. Um let's see. Uh okay, let me go ahead and open this up right here. Uh no, I don't wanna save changes. It's gonna be a white screen real quick. Uh, let me show you the Funko figures I've worked on. Um, let me see. And I'm going to sculpt a little bit after I show all the figures. So I've just been a little busy. I've, I have some plans here. I definitely want to continue sculpting, uh, working a couple other jobs. Oh, well, not as much really lately because I was injured last year and it's taken a little while longer than I expected. So I'm doing some. That's where the third, second job, as other than my sculpting. So I have, I guess, technically three. Um, <laughs> But um, let's see. Um, oh, where is it at? Here it is. Uh, no, that's true. No, you're right. Yeah, right. I've, I have thought about that. Yeah, I'm making a bobblehead. Yeah, that would be that would be something. I've I've been thinking about that. Like, like uh, let me see. How would I... it is pretty lightweight. Um. I need a pretty strong spring, but no, that's definitely a good idea. Um, this is another one I'm wor I've uh, worked on. It's another YouTuber right here. Uh, if you're familiar, it's basically I do work. He has two uh, mascots. This is kind of his uh, Finn the Human mascot right here version. Uh, what else? I ha was thinking about making his dinosaur one too. Uh, let me go to the next one here. Uh, open. No, I didn't want to save. I'm going to get the next one. So I, I basically have made a lot of the YouTubers. Um, Daihi, Nogla. I, these are the like, people I've watched. <laughs> other YouTubers. Um, there he goes. He has this weird looking... I don't like his face being that color. There he goes. He's got this weird, derpy looking uh, mascot or character. So... I think did I, I think I recorded this too. I had all the Funko figures. I think I've recorded. I just have not edited. I just been just kind of doing stuff, so I just haven't got around to sitting down and kind of just editing. But yeah, there's that right there. Um, I'm just gonna go over everything, and then I'm gonna be sculpting for probably about an hour or so, and I'll try to probably broadcast later tonight. Let's see what else. Uh, let me go ahead and open the next one. Uh, what I do not want to say, changes. Oh, wrong click. There it goes. Um, I also was trying to make Delirious. Oh, yeah, the H2O Delirious, another guy I kind of watch. He's, kind of, kind of, he's funny. Like, I don't know. Like These are just kind of people I like to listen to while I work. It's like he has like a Jason Voorhees kind of a Funko a character or whatever. So that's another one right here. If you check my previous video of uh, I basically made the Funko bus like a form, his the body, and then what I do is I take that as kind of like a uh, template, and I just kind of put everything else on it. What are their channel names? Um, they're just they're basically kind of a there's Vanos the owl guy. Uh, they're basically that's what their name is Van Vanos Gaming. They're they they do gaming stuff. 
they they do gaming things. Like you know, they, it's not like they uh, sculpt or anything, but they're kind of entertaining to listen to. Uh, Van Nos is a good one. He he does a really good job with editing his videos, and every all his other friends kind of follow suit after him. So, uh, but yeah, so this is H2O Delirious right here. So H2O Delirious, I already showed you. Basically, I do work W R K, not W O R K. It's W R K. Um, uh, I show a delirious. Uh, wait, what's going on with this? Why can I? Oh, it's for that one. Oops. Okay, well, I'm not gonna save it anyways. I already, it's already been saved. Uh, let me open in the next one. So I think I have one more Funko figure before I go to like the regular figures. Uh, let me go ahead and not save changes. Uh, I'll try to make Louis Caliber. He was a good one too. Good. Uh, oh, I made a PewDiePie one. That's right. PewDiePie Funko, where are you at? I think it's right here. There it goes. Oops, it looks like a block, but that's because of that. There it goes. Oops, I guess I'll go ahead and put H2O Delirious. Yes, is one. Then we got Vanos. Gaming. Die he did Nogla is the other one. Tell you the truth, I watch I watch Vanos and Die he kind of over delirious more than yeah. It's kind of, it's kind of funny listening to him and Die he has an interesting voice. But this is PewDiePie, the PewDiePie piece I made, the Funko right here. Man, is this was like this was made back in January. <laughs> like the stuff here, I just had I, I recorded it too. I just have not edited. I seriously been meaning to do that. Like I don't know. Like I think it's just because I you know lately my other jobs I've, I'm kind of on call for the other ones. Um, and sometimes like one of them I I work at an escape room, which is kind of fun. It's it's fun, much easier than the dojo. <laughs> could be a little annoying though stressful because of how people behave in those escape rooms the frustration okay so let's see uh, the, okay now the figures let me go ahead and show some of the ones I've been commissioned to do let me go ahead to uh, don't save changes here it's probably a white or black screen right now because I think that's what the uh, my broadcasting uh, app does um, I'm not sure. Let me go ahead. Sorry, I'm just going to check here real quick. Uh, okay. A figure that I was working on was Avatar Roku. Uh, that was a recent commission. I'll open that up real quick. If I can find the thing. Hold on. Sorry, I always have it. There it goes. Here it is. It's going to pop up soon. Oh, no, that's... Yeah, yeah. I I was thinking about Markiplier one. Yeah, I was gonna do a Markiplier. Yeah, I've I've been I've seen his stuff. Uh, I, you know his dog, and he's doing a tour right now. Uh, the escape rooms are pretty fun. Actually, the cool thing is my uh, hold on. It always starts off with this box here because I export it. Uh, there it goes. Oh, I don't have his hair things. All right, it's shown right now. Let me hide these ones. There it goes. This is the Avatar Roku piece I made for a commission, right here, as commission. I also printed it out. So yeah, I'm really happy with how it came out. So I like that show too, Avatar: Last Airbender. Let's see his little hair things right here. Yep, I like it, I like it so much. Okay. And then uh, let's go ahead and hop over to. So yeah, I'm gonna be shipping that to a guy in Australia. Uh, man, shipping is quite pricey. Well, it's like I think it's like 35 bucks. Um, I'm gonna be shipping it to him probably Monday. Let me go ahead over to the next one right here. Open no. Uh, other pieces I've worked on. I kind of worked on the side miscellaneous. Um. Uh, I'm gonna start from the bottom here. I have a lot of these. I already, I think I've shown my uh, the Mercy 
Chief Bielish and I work on, right, a while ago. Let me load that up real quick. It depends. Uh, I think I have a couple or a few right now. Uh, I really do. I think it depends on like me. Uh, I haven't really advertised like my commission prices or anything. My prices were vary a lot. Like, like I try to keep them low price. Like my prices are probably some of the lowest prices for commissions, just because I just want to just be able to just sculpt. Um, but lately, I've been actually busy with other stuff too, other than me trying to work on the escaper. Oh, here's the mercy thing. Whoops. Whoa. The mercy kind of chibi thing. So you can see, I was. I don't know, remember when I last shown this, but I just kind of had it lying around. Just. Uh, I've been meaning to kind of just finish it and then kind of 3D print it. Maybe sell a couple copies and that's it. Every time I make something, I like to kind of sell a couple copies to just kind of continue my work. I don't mean to like mass produce it or anything. And also, it's fan. It's a fan art, so it doesn't really break anything. It's not like I'm trying to claim it and stuff. Fan art is in like a gray area, but uh, and ha I have a whole bunch of uh, I have a couple of friends that, uh, you know, sculpt as well, and they've done it, and that's how they got into like the like the industry in general is because of fan art, really. But yeah, so as you can see, it's a lot of cool little details here. I look forward to printing this actually. I have actually a whole bunch of filament. So this is the Mercy right here. I I really need to pose. I'm not sure what pose. If you guys have any suggestions or anything you'd like to leave in the comments, you know, uh, you can go ahead. Any of the figures that I've shown, I think I've shown about five or so, like, figures. Uh, the ones that aren't posed, I guess like the Mercy one right here, you could probably ask me like what I should do or even like suggest something. Uh, like recommend like is there any big games coming out? I like to st sculpt stuff that are like popular that are hot like on the On the thing, but as I said for commissions like my commission prices could vary um, Like it depends on the complexity I the cool thing about doing digital is I can adjust the size and I'm not limited to whatever uh, So yeah, so that's a nice thing. I, it's a huge improvement. It's actually cheaper than my I think I find it cheaper than my traditional work uh even though you know I 3D print it, I have to slice it and do a little extra work, but it's much easier. Uh, let me see. Let me go to my next one right here. So that's my Witch Mercy right there. So like uh, I was working on a Thanos too, just because the Infinity thing was coming out. I just made a little bust. I was gonna release that, uh, release the video of me making that. I'll just show you what it looks like real quick. Uh, not save changes. Let's not save changes here. The Thanos, 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 Thanos. Oh, let me show Topo. If you guys are a fan of Dragon Ball Super at all. Uh, Dragon Ball Super. I have Topo in his destroyer form. Let me pop that up. But uh, yeah, I just been kind of busy. But for commission prices, I don't you don't have? To, it's not exactly precisely this. Just off the top of my head, it's it's pretty cheap for a commission piece. Like this is usually unpainted. Um, I sculpt. I also send pictures of the work in progress. But this is Topo from Dragon Ball Super here. Uh, Super uh, from Dragon Ball. Yeah, Dragon Ball Super. Yeah. So as you can see, I like. I was thinking of doing something called uh, sculpting snippets or tidbits. I don't know something along the lines where I I don't show the whole sculpting process, but I only show maybe a part of it. Like I was going to think about just having the body, you know, show how that's being made. But uh, no, I like it so far. Someone's interested in buying like a, like a copy of this once I'm done. Uh, well, yeah, man, he did not last very long. He only had like <laughs> what two, like two episodes. That was it. And he got defeated two, or three episodes or something. Two, yeah, I think two. Uh, but yeah, as far as my commission prices or whatnot, uh, I like to. The cool thing about, as I said before, about three D printing, it's cheaper than uh, me actually buying the material. The breakdown for a traditional sculptor, a sculpture, is much more than. 3D printing, like okay, I'll, I'll have you break down, okay? For me to sculpt in my usual clay, which is super sculpty, because it's very nice, you know. But however, when it's baked, it's kind of brittle. It's somewhat sturdy, but it's very, very iffy. It's like you gotta leave it alone. Also, the heat t uh, ch changes can also make it cause it to crack. So I usually ha recommend people to um, 
to get a molding casting of it. But I kind of not don't like doing that too much, just because I have the mold laying around then. But the cool thing about 3D printing is I have I keep a piece right, while I send the other piece off, so I can I never lose my art, which is nice. But as for uh, as I was saying, for my commission price off the top of my head, full figures I uh, vary. So if say it could start. I'll say these are like starting prices, maybe like for a like. Uh, let me see. Let me give an example right here. So, like having a sculpt up to like maybe the shoulders right here. It's called a bust sculpt. So maybe you cut this off right here. So if I was to let me go ahead and uh, let me go ahead and mask part of it right here. So basically, like the like the mask part right here, the the part that's dark right here, would be considered a bust sculpt. All right. It could be, it could vary. It could go down here to the ribs, right here as well, but it's called a bust sculpt, and usually those could be somewhere starting from sixty five dollars. All right, this is unpainted. Okay, it doesn't include shipping. It may include shipping depending on the complexity. All right, that's, and usually those things could be done pretty quickly. But remember, complexity is the key. If it's complex, these little decent things like that, I might have to increase the resolution or this or that, which doesn't raise the price, which is still a great bargain because I will print it out probably about three inches tall. Um, and then, like, if you want a half figure, which will be probably including the arms, and then up here, which is so it's basically you have this here, maybe no legs right here. His arms might be up higher or something. Uh, now that can start at a hundred, okay? Like, the thing though is that I remember complexity is the, the key word there, okay? Just because I say it's a hundred doesn't mean it will always be a hundred. It could, it may be a hundred, ten, hundred, twenty, or something. Okay, and this is usually a lot of times unpainted unless it's a simple project. I may include, and if the paint job is simple, I may include the paint job. But, you know, paint jobs, whatever, maybe like $20, $25 extra. Now, full figure, you're looking at probably $160. Uh, something like this isn't too bad. Like, uh, this is kind of uh, something I was just kind of working on as a personal project and someone was interested in. So, you can start at 160 all right, that is, and now think about this, okay? That is for a piece that could be about, like, depending on the complexity and, like, uh, the budget of the person. Now, hopefully, you know, if, if it's super complex, I may have the size a little smaller, but I like to range around the uh, collector size, which is about 10 to 12 inches tall. Uh, however, if, some, if something massive like this, where it takes has a lot of volume, uh, I may have to cut it down to maybe 10 inches tall instead of the max size of about 12 inches. So I like to print this stuff pretty large. I would just say my price is probably the most affordable for like the quality and size of my stuff. Uh, I I know people that do half the size and they charge like two, three times the price I do. Um, let me see. Okay, so that's the topo piece. Uh, I'm gonna get that printed sometime soon. I have to just finish the gloves, combine everything, maybe add a little bit of detail to the torn shirts, and smooth out the muscles and add the design along his chest and abs, abdominal region. Um, let me go to the next thing right here. I do want to get to sculpting a little bit on a commission I was working on for someone. Uh, let me go ahead. Uh, let me go ahead to the next piece right here. I'm going to open. No, I'm not going to save. Uh, it's already saved. I just don't want to save already if I accidentally mess something up on it. Uh, let me see. Uh, I have a Zelda piece. It's a little more of a pinup style. A little exaggerated features, if you know what I mean. Uh, let me see. It's from Breath of the Wild. Uh, I haven't really recorded this one just because I wasn't sure how I felt about uploading it. Uh, let me see, where is it at? Here it is, right here. This is okay. Here it is. Yeah, see a little bit of exaggerated features right here, but uh, <laughs> a little exaggerated. All right, <laughs> all right, all right. So um, I did not realize it's been a while since I've seen this last. All right, so yeah, I was just I was working. The only thing I hadn't really finished was uh was um what was it? I guess final little details along the clothing right here, uh. But yeah, so yeah, the hair when it block comes blocking like that, it's just something for the uh, software. The, what the software is doing, it's not really like that. It's actually a um, a subdivision, lower subdivision level, and it goes back to it, so it's easier. It processes it easier, so. Uh, really, the only thing I think I had left was pretty much like some of the clothing, like the shoes, really. Finish those up. But I wanted to print this like 12 inches tall or something, and maybe 
uh, sell a couple of those or something. Pose it. I'm not sure what the pose is, so if, you, if anyone has a suggestion for the pose, go ahead and leave a comment about that uh, or something. But okay, next thing I have. So these are a lot of things I have not really like shared actually. Even in some of them I haven't even shown on uh, my social media on Instagram. I do have a e I do have an eBay and Etsy though. Uh, I actually just re I just reopened an Etsy account. I, I haven't had one in a while, and I started uploading my stuff on it because that was another client base I was not using. All right, then. Oh yeah, I want to tell, share with you guys that. Uh, oh, I was also trying to work with Undertale. I would became a huge fan of Undertale all of a sudden. Like, I would watch a game like I never thought a game like that would be so entertaining to watch. So I was trying to work on Sands from Undertale. I didn't get very far with them. I just kind of have a rough. I had roughed them out right here. So as you can see here, I'm not sure if I started recording it, but as you can see here, like you know, it's like you obviously can tell us it's, it's him. I just haven't worked on it far enough where, uh, you know, it's obvious more obvious it's him. You know, I, I was thinking about adding the flame in his eye, maybe some like bones and the skull things he uses in the game. I thought I, because. I want something unique, and a lot of the figures I found online, he only stands like three inches tall. I want something that's like five inches tall, and I want him to have those little crazy skull things he used to attack like alongside of him with like bones sticking out of the ground. I was thinking something kind of crazy like that. But you know, as I'm, I know, I know I'm rambling, but uh, you ever ask me some questions uh, or rec recommend some sculpts or anything? Anything? I would say I'm more inclined. Now, I don't, you know, if you recommend something, don't expect me to make a full figure or anything because I do have other stuff I need to do. Um, you know, it's commission and stuff, but I will try to, if it's something popular, really popular, uh, or something that's coming up, like, you know, like as I said before, the Thanos thing, you know, the Infinity Stone, uh, the Infinity War. I'm going to go, I, I want to make at least a little of something of it, and I will, I'll post it or something. Um, let me open the Thanos thing, let me see if I can find that. I'm all over the place. Where is Thanos? Thanos, 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 Thanos. A lot. Let me take a little bit. Thanos. Comic. Oh, it was in the comics and Thanos. Okay, here it is. Okay, here it is. It should load up real quick. Oh, do Steven Universe. Oh, have you seen? Have you seen my Steven Universe, Irwin? I have. I have done a two. I have done a couple. Almost. I've almost done a third one. Have you seen any of those? Okay, so let me tell you what's going on here, okay? I actually was making a full figure of Thanos, but then I thought about maybe releasing a file for everyone to download of it. So what I was trying to do, these cubes here, I, I'm doing is a subtraction boiling right here. Um, oh, so Erwin, I'll, I'll go ahead and show it then. I made Steven Universe with swappable heads and I made uh, Garnet. Actually, I was actually working on also Amethyst uh, pearl. Is there someone else? Amethyst, pearl, garnet. Or oh, some, was some girl with like green that was green or something. I can't recall what it was. Someone recommended, I said I should do it, and I just had it kind of lying around. That was like a long time ago. Like, like I was just like it was like my infant stage of digital sculpting. <laughs> I was like it was I think a little overwhelming for me for something kind of simple and cartoony that it was kind of. I guess it's kind of hard for me to grasp because it was limited reference material. Oh, that's Peridot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Peridot. That's, yeah, the green. Yeah, yeah, Peridot. That's right. All right. So as I was thinking about this here, like when I when I sculpt, so maybe if I, if I remove these from here, right here. So as you can see, there's like, obviously there's other parts of him. I was actually, he had legs and hands and everything. I took those away, you know. Because what I do is, if I do this here, and then what I then click is it right here at the right side here, it has a subtraction selected. So if I go to, wait, what? Where's my live boiling selection? Uh-oh. What? That's weird. Where's my light? Wait, did, did ZBrush update? 4R8P2? I don't remember that. Or was that, was that an update? Because usually my boolean, hold on, maybe if I switch between menus real quick. Oh, there it is. Okay. Cool. All right. 
I don't like this kind of setup. Hold on, I, mean, I don't like the colors. That's better. Okay, now right here, I click that, look, see? It cuts it off. So basically, it's like me cutting into the thing. That's why I like digital so much, is because it's like, I could make a whole figure, and I could customize it into other figures. All right, so there's a Thanos thing. I already 3D printed it, so I just have to release the file and then upload the video. All right, uh, for you, Erwin, let me go ahead and find the, uh, let me find that, uh, I, I, think I, have, I think I have it on this computer. That's the thing, I think when I made it, I was using my other computer. I really hope that I actually brought it over. Like, I, I still have the other computer, I just don't have, I don't want to have to open it and get it out. If anything, if I don't have it, I'll switch it over later tonight and try broadcasting again. Uh, probably tonight. Uh, let me see, open. Let me see if I can find that. Let me see, Steven. Oh, Steven Universe, oh, please tell me that's it. Okay, it looks like that is... Yeah, it's this one here, okay. This is a while ago, like I was, I, ha I called the file 3D print attempt. <laughs> like, okay, yeah. Here's Steven, all right. Um, he has different heads, by the way, too. Let me check. I, I know, like, you obviously since it loaded up in this color here. This was like my. This is the material I usually had. I usually would use with this. Was this kind of this red wax? Uh, but now I just like the. I've always liked the gray. All right. Now the cool thing about this is that I could have his head swap. So, oops, that's the peg. That's so. Oh, okay. This is actually before I actually had. Did the sub subtraction boolean, which re made a hole right here for a, for a peg. Um, but there's the body, and there's the head. He had two heads, one with teeth and the one with open mouth right there. Uh, so basically, if I just went back here and I took that off, I, I go, so he had a smile, or he had that, and the heads were swappable. And then the Garnet one, open, no, don't save changes. The Garnet one, uh, I mean, you know, I'll just, I'll sh oh, I was working on Rose too. Let me see, you know, it's been a while. Let me see what Rose is looking like. Rose, uh, the, uh, the, the mother of, uh, Steven. Oh, yeah, it was a while ago. <laughs> I don't like that red. Oh my gosh, it just bothers me now. Yeah, I was trying to work on it. Man, this was a while ago, so I was like, I was like, pretty new between like the shortcuts and things like that so like doing this hair here was kind of like really like I don't want to say time consuming it was just like meh <laughs> so like I would be modeling this like this dress a lot better I was using high resolution to like model this dress and I was just pretty ignorant at the time <laughs> okay so yeah I was working on a series like Steven Universe Figures. Um, let me go back. Let me go to the next one. Let me go to. Wait, what time is? It? I have to go to. I have to go to work in a. In about an hour and fifteen minutes or so. Um, let me see. Pearl. Pearl is like. It said ninety-five percent done. <laughs> let me see what it mean by ninety-five percent. So okay. So that was the. Oh wow. Yep. This is a while ago. Let me go ahead and switch that color there. Yeah, the reason why I did want to like 3D print this was she was pretty thin. And this man, this was a while ago, man. I'd be approaching this differently, I think. So that's uh, Pearl there. This is something I made a while ago. I haven't really posted since I think a year ago, almost. But uh, yeah, so what are your thoughts of it, Erin? You mentioned Steven Universe. I guess I'll show you Garnet. I actually sold one. Like, like I just had lying around. I painted it. And I was like, I don't want to. I like, I like my work, but I can always have another one if I want to. I might as well sell it. Uh, let me go ahead. Project has been changed. No, I don't want to say any changes. Just in case I did something to it. Uh, I have lapis, garnet, amethyst. Wait, where's? Oh, uh, garnet. I said garnet. Okay. Uh, I think it was in the new folder. Yeah, right here. 3D print ready. Done. So remember guys, I'll just say again, welcome to the broadcast. I'm just trying to do update, trying to show the sculpts I've uh, I've worked on or maybe or haven't shown. Uh, like, 
stuff like that. I have a pinup, I think, of Sombra <laughs> from Overwatch I was trying to work on. Uh, I'll, show, I'll show that one in a bit. I was also thinking about doing some other pinup sculpts. But here's a uh, Garnet. Man, that red is just bothering me so much. It's just, I can't believe I sculpted it like that. Okay. Well, yeah, so what I was going to plan on doing was that, uh, like, since I was kind of, I want to say new at 3D, uh, 3D sculpting and printing, is that I made the bases kind of large. I didn't, like, I was, I should have made them, like, smaller. I could easily get away with, like, cutting this part off of this part here. Uh, maybe make it even narrower, not too much. I cut this piece into about three, uh, I think, four pieces. So if I go to transparent right here, actually, if I do this, I go expose right here, you can see all the pieces I cut this into right here oh you really like them? okay nice yeah oh yeah oh, yeah that was, that was a while ago, that was like probably a year ago or something when I was sculpting, I don't think I showed these figures though on my channel I think I posted them on Instagram though uh, but yeah you can see the pegs and everything how they all connect so they fit in smoothly like I was, you know, really trying to figure this out. Like, so I was really going overboard with like all the slicing. But now I have a 3D printer that can actually print the whole thing all at once instead of pieces. All right. So, and then I have the other ones too, but I'm not too sure what they look like. I want to show the other ones. Uh, the other project has been changed. Would you like to say changes? No. Uh, let me go ahead and go to Amethyst. It's been a while. Let's see the cringe. <laughs> it's been a while. Okay, it's not so bad. Okay, it's better than I expected. Um, yeah, I was working on like making these little tears and stuff like that. Uh, okay, it's not bad, but still, that red is making me angry. <laughs> It's just so so bad. Like, okay, that's so much better now. It's so much easier to see the detail, less shine. Oh yeah. Oh, I don't have my uh, I don't have a uh, perspective on. There it goes. All right. Let me go ahead and go back to my other sculpts, my more recent sculpts. I, I should go back and print those out and have them all together, scale them and have them like a maybe grouped together. Maybe some sort of large, like. Diorama, not diorama, but like a like a group s statue. I haven't done one of those. I haven't had more than one character. Like, or have I had two characters in a sculpt? Yeah, I've had two characters in a sculpt, but I have never really had like three or four characters in one. Let me see. Let me go to back to my other one real quick right here. Uh, so you saw the Thanos thing. I was thinking about doing uh, some Death Note stuff. Um, do, 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 do. I oh, you guys saw my Gurren Piggy. You remember if you guys have watched Invader Zim? I don't think I've have I shown it on this channel. Wait, why do I only have one file? Do I, do I only do it on one file? Really? Wait, what? Where's my other stuff? Oh no 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 no! I think I have it in a lower subdivision here. No wait, what? Where'd it go? Wait, what did I do with my hold on? It's not right. Uh, open. I think I accidentally saved it in a separate file. Grr. Oh, okay, I did save it in a. No, that's girl saying. No, girl and piggy. Sweet girl. Oh, here it is. I did save it in a separate file. I saved it with Jiren from Dragon Ball Super. That's weird. Sometimes when I switch files, I save in that wrong one. Okay, there you go. That's better. Whoa. Okay, why is this not? Okay, there it goes. Let's go ahead and show all those pieces real quick. Oh, wait, I have a... I have a... I don't have the internet account. Wait, why is it not showing everything? Oh, it's because I, I was... There it is. Okay, so I got the ears and the face. There it goes. Oh, where's the nose? There it goes. So Gurren Piggy right here. I really like it. I like it more than the one that they released before. I actually made this before I think they released a figure of it. But like the fact that 
I don't know. It looks really squished. The one that, that was available a while ago. I'm like, I really wanted to remake what I made for my brother, which was Gurren Piggy before, and I painted it and stuff. I'm like, I could do so much better now. Like, And then, boom. Sorry, I'm getting a little sidetracked. I wanted to uh, update you guys on what's going on and stuff, but as I say that, I have like more pieces I forgot about. <laughs> uh, I was also thinking about doing some Yu-Gi-Oh! sculpts, like uh, Dark Magician. Uh... Oh, I have it in my my other folder. Okay, interesting. So let me show like Dark Magician. I've rough Dark Magician now. So if I go to Yu-Gi-Oh here, did I put it under Dark Magician or did I put it under Yugi? Oh, that's that's the wrong file. Uh, Dark Magician. Here it is. I'm not sure if anyone's a fan of Yu-Gi-Oh at all. Like especially like the the first generation of Yu-Gi-Oh. You know. I was crazy. I didn't know there were five seasons of the first generation of Yu-Gi-Oh, man. Uh, so uh, this is something I'm I'm roughing out of Dark Magician. I would say it's almost done. Like I wouldn't say almost done, but it's like it's got the general form here. So obviously, you know, you can tell by the shapes and things like that. It's like the torso of Dark Magi Magician. I can easily add the limbs. I just was not expecting to do like a lot with it since I had other projects. But it's just kind of there right now. Let me show you the Sombra pinup, I suppose. Uh, I saw a picture where she was just kind of, I guess, casually kind of uh, hacking on like a chair or something. It was like some sort of fan art. Uh, like the Zelda pinup I showed earlier, some features may be exaggerated. Let me go ahead and uh, say no. Let me go to okay, Avatar Roku, Avatar One, no, Delo Mercy, no. Um, it is wait, what was I gonna do? It was a uh... oh, Sombra. I think I have it in my Overwatch folder. Yeah, here it is. Uh, wait. Yeah, let's see how this looks. <laughs> oh, a little exaggerated stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna have a chair here. It's been a while since I worked on this one right here. But yeah, <laughs> I have not even posted this on my Instagram just because it's like, nah. I wasn't even sure if I was gonna even like share this. A little exaggerated, <laughs> but whatever. <laughs> All right, let's go to the next day. I'm gonna pose it too. If you check online for like somber pinup or I guess well, anything along those lines, uh, this uh, picture of her in this like kind of outfit should pop up, like with her sitting on like the couch or something, like hacking or something, kind of casually. I thought it was a pretty interesting piece, and I kind of wanted to make that. Um, let me go to the next thing right here. Project has been changed now. What other stuff was I making? I was making. Uh, I'll be three D printing a lot like this this upcoming month. Um, I was working on some core stuff. Oh, Splatoon two. I had this Marina thing. I think I might have shown it already on this channel. I don't know. Um, this is a uh, like I did with the uh, Cali. Was a Marie? Maria? Was it Maria or Callie? I don't. I don't. I think it was Callie I worked on before, uh, from Splatoon One, uh, which I changed it. And this is a. This is a. Marina, so. As you can see, like it's nearly pretty much almost done. Like, as I said before, like sometimes I get distracted with other work, like paid work. So I'm like, I gotta not work on it right now. <laughs> She got her headset right there. I just had to add a little, this little suckers along the, the um, the hair here. Pose it. As I said before, guys, if you know of a good pose, maybe something you could like send me a, I don't know, an image or a link to a, to a, uh, maybe a pose for the character here, for a uh, Cali or not Cali for Marina right here. I'll try to pose it. I was thinking to have her like at her like DJ booth. We suppose she's a DJ. I thought that'd be kind of cool to have. Put make a little DJ booth in front of her and have her kind of rocking out to it. 
But yeah, like the boots I was like working on right here. I'm really happy, man. I'm like, man, this is like, like I'm doing. I do so much better with like digital modeling now. Like I probably would. I want to say change the boots, but I'd probably do something different with them. Uh, but no, like the headset was turning out great and stuff. But uh, but remember, guys, like you don't have to just listen to me. Like just you know, if you want to, oh, I'm gonna talk, but like give me some suggestions or. Uh, or I don't know. Ask me some questions. I don't want it to be too one-sided. Uh, I guess I'll. I guess I'll talk about what I was. I'm doing right now. Uh, other than sculpting, uh, you know, I have some commissions. Um, I plan on finishing those this upcoming week. I'll get them shipped next week after I print them. Uh, sorry. Let me go ahead and get a figure bef uh, before I start talking again. Uh, these figures. What are these figures? Oh, that's where it went. Uh yeah, Rick and Morty. I already showed that a while ago. Um, oh, the Fire Loader Ozai piece. If you guys are familiar with Dragon, uh, not Dragon Ball. What's it called? Um, Avatar: Last Airbender. Oh man, I like that show so much. I was like, it was pretty cool. The artwork and like the style. Will work. Open. It depends. Uh, really depends. Sometimes I can like I can flow with it, and I get I get better. Uh, when I do do I do uh, commissions? Um, oh, here's the Fire Lord Ozai piece. Someone wanted me to make the fire statue from one of the episodes called The Runaway. It's season three, book I think chapter uh, chapter seven. So basically, uh, oh yeah, thanks. Oh, who's this? Oh, Ninja Diffuse guy. Oh, Diffuse will go. Hey, oh yeah, you made a, I think you left a comment on one of my previous videos. Yeah, thanks, man. Uh, it depends. Uh, like, if it's something not too crazy and it's like a lot of more body and form, I don't I really like to put the time, but I like to say maybe at least maybe like 10 hours for some pieces. Like, uh, maybe around 10 hours. But if it's like a crazy piece, let me show you the uh, other piece I have. Um, this one took me a while, man. I modeled this thing like from scratch. Uh, it's a knight from a game called uh, Fire Emblem. He's called Black Knight, I think. Let me open that real quick. That was taking me a while because I was learning a lot from this pro from making him. Um, I'm probably also make that Fire Lord Ozai statue I'm showing you right now as a like a maybe like a 12 inch figure statue, and then I'm gonna ship it to the person. Uh, let me go ahead and go to uh, no I don't want to save changes. Let me show you that version the guy wanted me to do Reinhardt uh, with the Blackheart skin, which I was actually kind of I was interested in doing. Uh, but then he switched his mind because it was, he wanted it like he wanted it like 18 inches tall. I'm like, dude, that's gonna cost you a lot, dude. Like, you know how long that's gonna take for it to like print out? It's like, it's a lot of material. And I told him, like, if you want a piece that big, it's gonna be this price. He's like, oh, okay, maybe we'll do something like this. And uh, I'm like, oh, fire emblem, huh? He said, oh, there's like no figures of this made. I'm like, oh, really now? And I'll pay you for this. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Where let me get it real quick? It's a uh, Wow, I have a lot of save files for one thing. Uh, I like to save every so often, and it's a very important because I've had it crash on me so many times before. Sometimes, oh, not lately. I think they got rid of a lot of the bugs. I think it was this one right here. But uh, there it goes. So this one was taking me a while. Like, I, it's not done. Like, also the guy said he needed to take a little bit of a break just uh, because something happened with his landlord. I'm fine with it. Like, you know, I'm really happy with how it's turning out, and uh, I wouldn't be messaging him later today. But as you can see, it's got a lot of, a lot of details. Like, I'm gonna have to, you know, fix you know this clipping here. I'm gonna have to pose it later and everything like that. He's gonna be holding his cape, his sword in front of him. Uh, I was working on the gravel here, so say if I take this right here, and I want to raise the stone up, like that. I could have like kind of a, you know, kind of a stone stone ground kind of thing. I was I was masking it for that earlier before I stopped with the project. But I, like he's got he's got knee pads uh, and stuff. So okay, I hope this doesn't affect my computer. Let me go ahead and uh, expose this. So here are the pieces. But there are all a lot of sub tools here. So you can see like you got the the leg stuff here, you got the torso up here, you got the shoulder pads, the sword, the armor that goes in the front, 
the sh other sh pair of shoulder pads, the arm guards. Um, the thing in front, his helmet, and his helmet has a separate piece right there which goes on top. Oh, I'm not going to make a separate piece, I'm going to combine it later. But let me go ahead and combine that back again. Okay. There it goes. Oh yeah, I didn't show his cape part. Where's his cape? He has a little cape he holds on to. There it goes. He's going to be grabbing onto that. Forgot about that. Oh, as I was thinking about commissions, uh, now as I said before, my prices I offer are pretty low considering like the detail and like the size of my work. Uh, the, sometimes the paint isn't even included. That's extra. I can paint them though. Uh, I can paint, but like the thing is that I kind of don't want to have to deal with it. I don't mind doing it. But like I want to make it like my kind of worth it at least like at least an extra like twenty five bucks at least because painting can take hours to make sure it looks right. Uh. But yeah, so yeah, this piece is gonna this piece was gonna be is gonna be printed at like I think fourteen inches tall, which is gigantic. <laughs> In my case, I never really printed anything that big. But no, like. Yeah, as I was saying earlier, uh, if you have any suggestions for future sculpts for me to make, I'll take them into consideration, especially if the more popular they are in terms of like any kind of movies coming up, like the Thanos or or any kind of video game. I guess like Cuphead would be an example. If Cuphead, Cuphead was a big game, and I like I didn't realize how big it was going to be, then I would have just kind of worked on that. All right, uh, sorry. I, as I was saying, so that was the one piece right there. Yeah, you know, pieces could take like it depends. Like some pieces could take me like a few hours. Uh, some pieces could take like complex pieces could take ten or more hours. It really depends. Like the more like the more the person the more budget the person has, the better. The more time I would likely need to spend. But it's not like gonna, it's not going to lack in quality. I just maybe I won't have certain details or I might have maybe a little more creative take to it. You know, remember you know time time is money. Like I, if I have other projects too, I have to work on that, and that's a huge thing I've learned from doing commissions. Uh, Osiris. Oh, let me show you the Osiris Ghost. If you guys are familiar, you guys know uh, you guys know uh, Destiny, right? Destiny Two. Someone actually, I made I made the model. Someone bought the model from me so that they can uh, make copies of it. But they have been a little lacking, falling behind on production of it. It's Ghost. It's uh, called Sagira. It's Osiris's ghost. Uh, let me go ahead and open that. Import uh, to cell. Oh, I think it was my to cell file. Okay, it's my ghost for SLA printing. They used an expensive resin printer to print this out. Let me go ahead and show it real quick. Oh, whoa, what the heck happened here? <laughs> what is this? Hold on. Oh. I had the wrong thing selected. This was when I was trying to. Uh, this right here, this mass right here, was a subtraction addition boiling I was trying to put onto one of the wings of the, the character. Wait, why is this? Wait, oh, crud. Hold on, that's not the right file. This is the file before the final. Hold on. Uh, files to import files. Can I do Sagira finalizing? Was that it? Sorry, sometimes I have like 10 files of the same thing. Okay, well, I'll show you this one for right now, okay? So, <laughs> because before I, before I guess I cut this one out, so this is not the final one. But let me go ahead and add the little spikes on there. Notice that's that. Okay, that's fine right now. As you can see, I made this a while ago. I made this probably back in December. Before the game was released, by the way before it was released and I was the first one to actually start making this but basically the uh, he wanted me to um, make a make it with a light inside so this was hollowed out I don't think this model right now I, I think I selected the wrong uh, the wrong file <laughs> um, but it's hollow it's been hollowed out so I really want to show you that one too I don't want to just talk about it. I want to show you guys thanks for stopping by by the way um, light casing extraction the vault ghost that's not it. New folder. Oh, here it is. It is here. It is okay. I think it is this one. Uh, as 
this looks about right. So we go ahead and pop that up. And yeah, this is it. This is it. Okay, cool. So that's the inside parts. I have a lot of what the oh, this is before I <laughs> before I uh, deleted this stuff. This is a uh, that's not it. Oh, here it is. Oh, okay, I got it now. Okay, let's separate the pieces here real quick so you can see everything. All right, so let me talk about this right here. So as you can see, this was made for SLA printing. Uh, so the pieces are pretty precise, so I don't have to cut too many pieces for all these sharp edges and everything. Oh, it's like 7 a.m. here? Dang! Wait, 7 a.m., that means you... Hawaii? No, <laughs> I don't know. I'm 7 a.m. Oh, no, no, unless you live eight hours. No, you must be maybe other side of the world then. You... Australia? I don't know, I'm just guessing at this point. Dang, 7 a.m. You're up early. But, um, so as you can see, you see all the pieces right here. You got the front of the ghost here. Now, as you can see here, I actually have a little lens cap over it because it's supposed to be, it's hollowed out, as you can see on the back right here. A little light fits into it, which then, on the back of it, has a little dial. Wait, where'd that dial go? Here's it, here it is, it's a little dial right here. All right, and it has each of the individual spikes right here. Now if I combine that, oops, if I combine them all back together again, as you can see it's hollow right there, and there's a little switch back here, we were able to twist it to turn on and off at the light. Oh, you're in Asia, oh, close though, oh, darn it, I was close. Uh, you know, actually the funny thing is one of my things I was going to update you guys with was that, um, so as, okay, I'll just show this as I talk right here. Uh, aside from my sculpting and the other two jobs I'm working kind of as, uh, kind of part-time with the other two, it's uh, the martial arts studio and the, and the uh, escape rooms. Uh, uh, but my, I'm also kind of learning other stuff too. My, kind of my plans is to be able to, I want to learn a couple other languages, you know, Spanish, and I thought the fun one would be Japanese. Uh, and also, I wanted to work as a programmer, basically a software uh, computer programmer. You know, things like JavaScript, uh, Java, C++, or C Sharp. Is that C, C Sharp? C++? Uh, so, you know, stuff like that. And then, uh, you know, I wanted to be able to get a job by probably summertime or fall, and then, you know, save money to go to Japan. <laughs> I've always wanted to go to Japan. So that's where Japanese would come in handy. Uh, but yeah, so Japan's like a fun place. It's so unique and like mixed between modern and traditional. Cult it's very cultural over there. And even their modern stuff is kooky. <laughs> I don't know. Like they have some funny stuff over there. Pretty pricey to be able to get over there and actually explore. But that's where hopefully uh, as a more more modern, or more uh, more of a career for me if I go into program uh, uh, computer modeling. Oh, also I'm trying to learn piano, <laughs> so that's what I wanted to do. I got a, my I got a, uh, had a piano keyboard uh, lying around for a while and decided to start using it. All right, let's go to the next one. If you guys as said before, any questions or uh, or recommendations or stuff, you know. Yeah, um, let me go open. Sorry, I'm gonna I'm gonna sculpt a little bit too, but I, I'm surprised I haven't shown a lot of this stuff on the channel, huh? Okay, um, I also made a little ninja golf course thing. Oh, I made the Cyrus cubes from Destiny 2. I made some ninja stars. Uh, you guys have seen this, right? This was a while ago. This was a commission I made like last fall. It's a Daredevil and. Uh, Uh, right here. Wait, what the heck? Dang, I have so many files of this. I gotta like delete these. I'm taking like gigabytes of memory right here. <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay, okay. I think it was this one here. Okay, here. All right, this is a commission I did. All right, this was last last fall right here. Wait, why is this all dark? I'm gonna brighten that up a bit. There it goes. 
So it was a Daredevil slash uh, Moon Knight piece. Uh, it was, uh, the guy that hired me for this why, uh, was for his be- it was for his like best friend or something. The piece pretty much stood I think about twelve inches tall overall. I think or was it fourteen? I think it might have been fourteen inches tall overall. Uh, it was his face was sculpted in, like for for like his friend's face right here, and then the girlfriend was supposed to be here because you know Daredevil's not a girl; it's a guy. So yeah, so I made them separate and then I combined them. I had to make sure there's a point of contact. She had her little weapon here. Uh, where is it? The other one? It was a little baton she went, she's throwing, huh? But you see the little baton here? She's throwing a baton out from her hand, and I don't have it on this file right now. But uh, yeah, so there's that right there. You know, I think in the beginning of this video, I should have mentioned that, <laughs> you know, I'm gonna be showing a bunch of sculpts and so I'm pretty sure I did, but just when people come across this video later on, they're like, oh, whatever, this is boring. Uh, let's see. Let's not save the difference, the changes here. Hop back to my file here. I'm making some core stuff. I made some Jackie Chan talismans from the show, you know, Jackie Chan Adventures, that cartoon. Let me show the Roadhog piece. Roadhog was was kind of fun making, making right here. Uh, let me show you that one. It's the Halloween skin. It's like a little bust. Oh, so every time it shows a box, that means like we're gonna start off with the box here, is because the last thing I did was trying to get it ready for 3D printing. All right, there it goes. It's the Roadhog skin right here. It's the Halloween Roadhog skin. Right here. So you can see, I made sure I got like all the kind of good little bits of details right here. Yeah. Just saying, if anyone wants a custom piece, you know, a custom sculpture, uh, I can hook you guys up with some. <laughs> Just saying. You know, you guys always know I do good work. <laughs> but it definitely helps support me in a sense and help me continue doing this. Uh, you don't have to, I'm just saying. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> but these, this is made in about six pieces or something. Let me expose this real quick. Right here. So as you can see, yeah, it's what? five pieces so one big body got the mask piece because I don't want too much support material on it so it made it pretty efficient and then the things that go along his back right there but uh yeah sorry I hope I'm not boring you guys or anything you always tell me if you guys want to see something else I just thought it'd be kind of cool to just show all the kind of other stuff that you don't normally see. You know, no one, there's no figures of this guy. It's all the Overwatch regular skins, you know. So I just kind of thought it'd be kind of fun. Uh, Devil Mercy, Bendy, Avatar Roku, Avatar One, Asami, Avatar Last, Airbear, Chibis. Uh, oh, Delirious Shark. You know, like I mentioned earlier with H2O Delirious, I made this a while ago. I didn't, I didn't finish it. It's this shark eating a hamburger, which I thought was kind of funny. So, obviously, I could probably finish at this point. Like, this was, as I said before, this was like, I was making this a while ago. Like, I'm so much better now that I could probably finish this pretty quickly at this at this stage right here. So, is that supposed to be water coming up? like part of a ship right here. I think it's like the mast. Or something, the hamburger. Uh, no, I like it. I would add the teeth here. Hmm. <laughs> Stares at wall. <laughs> no, it's fine. I'm not trying to pressure or anything. It's just, it's a, uh, it's all good. I just, uh, I already have some commissions right now as it is. I need to finish, so there's no, no, no worries. But uh, <laughs> but if you are interested, uh, I'm not saying. I told uh, I told the other guy Irwin. I told Irwin earlier about my prices. They vary, like a bust. If you saw that Thanos piece I made, like for a bust, like which is shoulder and head, could be about like starting at like sixty-five bucks. And then starting it may not include paints. It depends on if the complexity of it may be included or whatever. That's without shipping. Shipping is extra because of course that kind of sucks. Because sometimes shipping could cost like twelve bucks for me, like for some places. And that's 
a lot already. Uh, I, and I work hard on these pieces too. So, and then for like a half figure, for maybe about six, like four to six inches tall, half figure including arms could be like a, starting at a hundred bucks, and then uh, usually they're around those prices all the time. Um, and then for like a full figure, for like almost like between like ten to I call them collector size, ten to twelve inches tall could be around one hundred sixty to start. If it's any kind of crazy like that, like that Black Knight piece I'm working on, where all that armor and stuff, oh my gosh, that's it's a lot of work. And that's probably gonna have to be boosted up at least another, at least another fifty bucks. Okay, <laughs> but uh, so really, you're looking at high quality pieces for about twelve inch figures under like two hundred dollars most of the time. Probably the most really is if it's anything more than. If it's anything bulky, like muscular or very large in mass, then that increases the price as well. Uh, I would say a lot of times I don't go. I don't think I really go over two hundred fifty dollars with commissions. Usually it stays around two hundred or less. But okay, so back to okay. I'll show you the commissions. I show you the Fire Lord Ozai statue is the one I'm working on as commission. And the other commission I'm working on is a it's a, another Avatar or it's Legend of Korra, but it's Avatar Last Airbender um, piece. Those save changes. I want to finish those too. May I will use it. Maybe I'll do it on a broadcast. Oops, wrong one. It was Avatar One. One to meet you. All right. Uh, one to overall rough. Okay. So basically. Uh, this is a statue in like Legend of Korra. Basically, it's a wooden statue. It has the the first avatar here in the center, with uh with the uh, Rava, which is like some a spirit, like a uh, kind of what gave the gives the uh, avatar the ability to uh, like reach into their past to uh, get their knowledge. So right now it's like the uh, so the spirit's here. It's like got the tail. It's it's like its tail right here. It's kind of like its like it's noodle arms, I guess you call them. Um, come to think about it, I don't think I. Oh, I didn't set my scenes up. I was gonna. The only other scene I have, real quick, because I'm worried about crashing my broadcast, is uh, that when I was working on Bendy and the Ink Machine. Oh yeah, I was trying to work on that one, uh, the one chick that one time. I forgot her name. Oh well, but uh, I guess I'll open it on my side, but you may not be able to see it unless I imported the file image. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, Combustion Man. Oh, that guy. That's right. You mean uh, Sparky Sparky Boom Man? <laughs> Don't know. What are you talking about, Combustion Man? You mean Sparky Sparky Boom Man? <laughs> uh, Sokka. Okay. Oh, okay, so let's see. Um, yeah, you know what? Let me, you know, let me look at him real quick. You know, that's not a bad idea. Hold on. I'm about to put Sparky Combustion Man uh, Avatar. Oh yeah, that's what he looks like. Ah, uh, huh. It's like a full metal octopus deal right here. That's right. Dang, it's been a while since I've seen him. You know, I wonder, you know, if you watch Legend of Korra, there's a girl that has like, the same thing on her forehead as the as Combustion Man. I wonder if like, it's a daughter or something. Daughter or a great, or great, or a granddaughter. Huh. You know, maybe I'll make a, maybe I'll make like a bust or something of him, maybe. Maybe not a full figure. I, uh, I you know, I'll see. Maybe, yeah, something. <laughs> yep, exactly. Sparky, Sparky, boom man. All right, so, uh, yeah. Also, yeah, just a little reminder. Yeah, even if you, oh, even if you showed up late in the broadcast, you can always skip back to see the other sculpts I showed. I showed like some little Funko Pop creations of some YouTubers and uh, other. I think some other stuff. Uh, Sombra and uh, Zelda pinup pieces. I have so many stuff I could print so I could almost print every day for like I think like if I could continue working on sculptures and stuff I could probably print a new piece like every day like 
Uh, if I if I was to continue sculpting, but as I said before, I'm busy with other stuff. I'm trying to learn like a couple other languages. Uh, you know, where I'm on call and like two other jobs and sculpting commissions. Uh, trying to learn piano, trying to get around to it, and I'm trying to learn programming for like computers. So I'm like I'm trying. To, I have like a lot on my plate, and I'd like to do the other sculpts, but I need a I need a stop being lazy at times because I need to focus. <laughs> but Oh shoot, I had the wrong window open. Where's my window? Oh, here it is. All right, I was gonna open a new thing up. I think I can only scope for the next 25 minutes or so because I wanna work on this piece. Uh, I may broadcast later tonight. Uh, so I'll work on this for the next 20 minutes or so. So if you guys want, all you have to do is, you know, if you are if you're using your computer or something, you can go ahead and if you're wondering what I'm trying to make or what it looks like, just click in Avatar 1, W-A-N, and then you click Statue, and it should pop up. It's a wooden kind of beat up old statue. So basically it looks like it's like flattened out here and there. So I'm going to take a flatten tool by VFA for flatten. I'm going to take this here. I'm going to start kind of, kind of flattening this here, switching between, the reason why I have one mask and the other not masked is so that I could not have to, look, if I don't have any of the masks, or if I don't have any of the masks, I go like this, I hit both of them, so I keep one mask, when I do that, it only gets one of them, so these arms are like little, like noodle arms or something, so I'm going to flatten a bit, try to, now I'm trying to do that, I'm making it now, I think in the statue, they, like, these arms don't make contact, I think. But however, since this will be 3D printed, I had to go for uh, like durability and stability. So I have to kind of have these touch. Like Obviously, it's still going to look nice, though. But I just need to make sure that when I do that, it won't, it won't, uh, you know, it'll stay strong. It'll last the, it'll last the years. So I need to, so basically, I'm just kind of flattening it in the sense of, like, like along one side here, like the, inside here right there I'm gonna go ahead and turn dynamic on so I can not have to see the other figure right there and I'm just kind of flatting it kind of going free forming it I'm not trying to like go anything mechanical so that's kind of like what it is Rob is kind of like a nature kind of deal so um, let me switch back to that I can switch this mode on so when I move it around I can see I guess I'll turn transparency on so I don't have to get rid of the figure but if you have any questions or any things you want to see me kind of do on this piece currently right now, since I am working on it, go ahead and mention it. It's not too hard. The cool thing about having a tablet, and if you're wondering what tablet I'm using, I'm using a tablet that's like 60 bucks. <laughs> 60 bucks a buck tablet. <laughs> Little drawing tablet. <laughs> Nothing too crazy. I used to have a Wacom. Uh, it was like a drawing tablet that was a, uh, how did I say it? Uh, it wasn't like crazy, didn't have a screen on it. So I'm not looking at a screen right now. I'm actually looking at my computer and actually drawing kind of blindly, I guess. Because, you know, it's not like I'm drawing onto the screen. It's not like regular paper or whatnot, so. <laughs> Just. Yeah, so as I was saying, uh, like I was trying to do, I wanted to visit Japan. Hopefully, I was to give myself a day because I want to, my date for uh, like, I guess also maybe try dating too, <laughs> I guess. But um, uh, what are they going to do? Um, I wanted to get into pro computer programming software development or whatever it is. Basically just computer programming. Uh, but what I wanted to do was uh, be able to get a, uh, be able to be approved and find a job sometime during the fall, where then I could start making money, save my money up for you know you know just save money right, so that I can just you know maybe later on eventually buy a house or something in the future, maybe a couple of years or something, save money up better to kind of just you know save it. Uh, and then uh, I wanted to go to Japan really. I want really want to go to Japan badly. Really badly want to go to Japan. Okay, back to this guy right here. Let's go to one here. Okay, uh, 
turn that off right there. Okay. Now, his face is really rough. Now, what happens is when I sculpt, or just sculpting in general, there are three forms to keep in mind. Same kind of goes for drawing, but sculpture really is all about that that form, especially. Uh, it's So basically, if I click this button here, oh, not that button, it's the other button. <laughs> it's the V button. No, wait, what? Why is it not working? Where's my silhouette mode? Huh, it's not working. Weird. All right, well, what I was going to say is that it's a form. If you look at the from the outside here, you kind of want to see kind of a... You want to make sure it looks right first. If you add too much details on something over a form that's bad, you're going to regret it later because no matter what you do to it, it's going to be just super annoying. And I'm also going to pose him here. I'm going to have one arm down, the other arm kind of forward uh, because that's what, I, that's what it is. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hide this part right here hide that switch back I'm gonna hide that I'm gonna hide Rava here too there it goes oh that's a good question that's a good question uh, did you diffuse that? someone actually told me that too like are you just gonna go by yourself or are you gonna go with someone I'm like huh now what? that's actually a pretty good idea I should probably so I can have like share the experience with someone else um, I have I have a couple of friends that have actually been up to Japan I think like three times and I'm not. I'm sure they're probably thinking about maybe going again sometime. But maybe I don't know. Maybe they'll be interested in going with me up there or something. Uh, we'll see. But uh, should be something because uh, would you have any recommendations of places to go in Tokyo, in Tokyo, in Japan? I won't be going for a while, but I just want to like get something, get thinking about something before um, before the, you know comes up. Want to know ahead of time or something. Uh, crap, I'm trying to switch back to my images. Oh, here it is. Oh, here it is. Okay, all right. But yeah, just wondering if you had any suggestions or anything. Uh, BCB. So I can go back to this clay build up brush right here. Try to get these folds here. indent here I don't know sometimes I just kind of just throw it until it looks right that's kind of what it is it's like an artistic kind of eye kind of deal so I'm just not trying to like sometimes you just gotta just do it now, I'm not to worry about the inside of the legs here since they won't be seen they'll probably be I'll probably have it combined right here so I'll probably place a cylinder in here to provide better stability also I might have the legs just kind of insert in uh, I might make this in quite a few pieces Oh, okay. I wasn't sure if you've maybe heard of some places that might be kind of fun to go to or something. I don't know. Just wondering. All right. So I got that right there. Uh, I guess I'll work on the face a bit. This face is kind of interesting. Uh, let me see. I definitely like him to get some of their fa facial features. Now, when working on the face, Faces, you want to make sure before you add details like the eyes and things like that, you want to make sure just like kind of general, kind of this here already. Just a little bit of hair and a little bit of detail like this much should look like him already. Because if you start adding more stuff, you're never going to get close to what he really is going to look like. All right, so, or whatever person or character you're trying to make. So it looks relatively like him. He's got his nose. I'm going to zoom up on that actually. Oops. I have, I have a picture you can't see right now, but. I'm going to look from the side view. So basically what you want to do is you want to look from the front, you want to look three quarters, and you want to look about side view right here. Uh, let's go ahead and I'll, I like to use the move tool. The move tool is like like the digital artist's best friend. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and like bring this out right here. So basically I need to make sure I have the brow line. And men, the brow line is very prominent. Women tend to have like kind of a kind of like a like straight down kind of thing. Let me just go back real quick. But it has kind of a like a significant kind of brow kind of deal here. I'm gonna bring this back right here. See, it's a little better already. Now, right here, I gotta make sure I keep in mind that it's a skull and it kind of it's rounded here in the front. I'm gonna make sure I pull this up right here. He's he's a nice guy, you know. 
right there. Now you gotta keep in mind, uh, even though it's like a cartoon characters, a lot of cartoons, you know, base things on like realistic kind of faces. So yeah, you do have to keep in mind about the muscles that come around the side. Of the, oops, <laughs> come around the face. So B C B right here. I have an option here called Dynamesh. So what happens? Is I could just mask and it will automatically retopologize it. But sometimes it doesn't do it as well as I want it to. Uh, no, that's fine. All right, I'm gonna probably increase the resolution to probably about 80. So I start sculpting again. So BCB, okay, now I'm probably gonna make sure I round this out a bit more. Get the, the around the eyes right here. It's kind of like a mask. If you wanna make like eyes, or like the, the part around the eyes here, you wanna kind of make a, like a Zorro mask around here. And you got the temple part right here. Gotta maybe fill this out a bit more. Now, there's muscles right here. There's a jaw muscle right here. There's a cheekbone right there. There's a, the muscle going around the face right here. Maybe retopologize that real quick. So I look more like him already. Uh, maybe work a little bit on the hair. Sometimes you have to jump back and forth. You never want to focus on one thing too much. Otherwise, you start like messing up. Like It doesn't look right. I'm gonna, now, I'm not going to use symmetry for this. His hair is a little asymmetrical. So I'm going to go to... Uh, let's go to 70. Yeah, I'm going to have to go in about 20 minutes or so. So let me go ahead and try to get some of this done quickly. Um, BDS is the, uh, the Damien Standard Brush. It's made by someone named Damien, I think. Uh, I'm going to kind of pull some of this hair out right here. Uh, looks like it's a little flat along the sides. Hold on. Okay, so I need to make sure I make this significant kind of dent here in his hair. Maybe I'll bring this back up right here. Uh, B, C, B. It looks like uh, he's got this big old bump right here. I'm looking at kind of a profile kind of deal right here. Maybe bring this up right here. I'm looking at different angles here, so. Uh, B M B. It's very important to kind of get the the form of it all. But please don't be worried. You can go ahead and ask if you have any questions or anything, or want to make sure this is fun for you guys. Or hope everything's okay. Probably start adding the eyes. I'll probably start adding more details now. Like at this point, like my kind of like that right there. Let's see what it looked like before. I could skip back in the history. So this is what it looked like before, and this is what it looks like now. Looks friendlier. Probably bring. He, he has a high jawline. He's very like women have like very high jaw lines like. Guys like like muscular guys, things like that have a very flat jawline, but very broad. Because his his is kind of his is kind of wide, but not too wide. I have to bring that maybe bring the bottom part of the jaw out a bit. All right, let me start working on the face here. Get some details going with the nose and mouth, and maybe some eyes. What I like to do is I like to go to B I T, which is the inserts uh, like. What is it? B I. What is the tool called? Primitive. It's primitives. Okay. Where I put an insert sphere. And then what I do is I can switch to the move tool here and I pull that back. It's basically like taking balls of clay and putting it in. Basically, it just kind of give me an idea of like how the face should be placed out and worked around. I could also mask and work around it. Oops. So say if I go B C B, you know, like I said earlier with the Rava thing. So if I go like this, obviously it won't affect the eye. I can make eyelids here and here. You know, it looks tired or something. All right. However, if I didn't have that selected, like oh no, case scenario, I guess I go like this. It messes with everything. It doesn't work, and I switch back. See, the eyes are messed up now. So I like having that there. And right now, like I didn't even do anything to the face. Now, like looks pretty good. Have you done digital? Have I done digital painting? Um, I've done some drawing and some some like some painting. I haven't 
done a lot of uh, what do you mean digital painting? You mean like paint for the sculptures, or you mean painting like just two D stuff? Like when it comes to two D, I haven't done too much two D. Uh, like I I do dabble a bit in it, like just kind of for like like roughing out or just kind of getting my ideas out real quick. But uh, I don't do it too much though. I I need to do it more though. That's kind of the thing that's been kind of bothering me. I, like, if I like had I spent more time on it, I would have been like really good. Which kind of sucks. <laughs> but I have done a little bit. I think I used like Corel Painter or something. It was called Corel Painter. Oh no! I forgot to keep groups on. Let me keep groups on. Try that again. I want to probably keep these eyes separate. Let me. I'm gonna split these eyes real quick. Hold on. I want to make sure I do a quick save, so I don't lose my work. I have to do that every so often, otherwise it's gonna suck. We go B D S right here. I'm gonna go ahead and start making kind of a mouth right here, I suppose. Uh, I am definitely more. Yeah, I am interested in more three D art. Don't get me wrong. I do like the two D aspect. Okay, but I like the fact that I can actually hold on to my art. Like, but you can do a lot with like with you can do a lot with uh with two D work though. Like you can get your ideas out faster. Now there's there's way in three D sculpting where you can get your ideas out really quick, you know, especially with digital. You know, there's uh there's concept there's concept sculptors where they just kinda throw throw stuff on there and that's great, but like like sculpting in general can or just drawing in general can be a great benefit to like concept work and just Oops. And I really want to do that some more. Oh, that's a little bad, really bad. The face is not right. The nose is seems kind of squished, so I'm gonna hold on. Ah, it's like Pinocchio. I need to put a little bit more mass right here, I think. Hold on. No, yeah, I've always been interested in 3D art. I, I, like my dad, you know, his comic books and the statues I've seen. I used to collect like these little figures you'd be able to kind of make, you know, like a. Wait, hold on, my phone's going off. I need to make sure it's not a message from work. Also, I'm getting a new phone. My gosh, my phone, this phone sucks. Like, it's not bad, it's just, oh my gosh, I can't believe I was surviving on the eternal memory of 16 gigabytes. Well, 14 gigabytes considering the space the phone takes up already. Why is this not working? Why is it? Wait, did it work? No, hold on. I think my Dynamesh is turned off. Oh, it is turned off. I'm going to go to 100. Wait, so this doesn't look right. Is the mesh not... Oh, there it goes. It fixed itself. There it goes. Okay. So... Um, sorry, but I definitely, wanted, I definitely do want to do more drawing just because it could be so helpful. But it's very interesting, though, like how it's... I. It is quite an amazing thing when people can actually like draw depth to their their work. I'm not interested in too much of like painting, but I've seen some people do some crazy stuff with painting. Like it makes me want to like go back to painting again. But sorry, I'm just trying to talk. And... Just trying to. Got this button nose here, so I'm gonna. Right there. Um, I know, like, now that you mentioned it, Van Ninja, I, you're definitely making me think about drawing again. <laughs> uh, like, you don't know, like, how, like, crazy, like, 
easier it is to be able to kind of just kind of draw something and then kind of have that there and kind of show people your idea before you go you invest time into like making it that's why sometimes that's why sometimes sculptures are drawn beforehand just to make sure they go through approval first that looks that, that nose is looking a lot better I'm happy with that well just did that now didn't I 112 diamond mesh there it goes all right let's go to the mouth now B D S uh, it looks like I have about 10 more minutes left, guys, but uh, I feel like you feel like getting sculpted yourself. Uh, if you, what do you, do you mean digital or digital could cost a bit. Like the software I love using, which is this, can cost quite a bit. It kind of like can cost you about 600 bucks for a sculpting software. Like I mean, lucky for me, I probably got it like 100 or 200 bucks cheaper because it was uh, some sort of older something. I don't remember. I got it from eBay. But uh, that that face though, <laughs> hold on, that's not right. <laughs> like, what are you thinking about uh, sculpting, uh, clay? That's that'll do for now. <laughs> it looks funny now, but this is just all a starting line for me to start sculpting the face out, which uh, you gonna use a clay brush, B C B. Uh, I started with traditional, like. I'm not saying you have to too, but that's kind of what I did. Oh, hey, hold on. Ah, that's gonna do, that will do for now, okay? I'm not saying this is the final thing, it's just, <laughs> it's kind of funny. Uh, but as I was saying, uh, I started with clay. Uh, BCX for a clay tube. I want to save this real quick. Hold on. Sorry, I need to make sure I save every so often. Might be a white screen now. Uh, clay one three. Sometimes after I double the sculpt, I have like ten save files. Now clay is a good way to start, just because it's cheaper. It's so much cheaper to start. Uh, there's just a huge. You can probably get all your tools and material for under like a hundred bucks. And you can actually make like a few pieces with that much money. With that much money you use, like 100 bucks, you can probably make a few statues and have all your tools at once. It's, it's basically, the startup is pretty much like 100 bucks for like a, to get all your tools and startup pieces going. For digital, there are some free digital, there is some free digital uh, stuff, but like a tablet alone for like, a, like that's the tablet I use. It's like, it's pretty decent. It's like, I, but I wish I got my Wacom like bamboo tablet back again. Like, the, something happened to the pen. I got actually my dog chewed it up, and I'm like, like, I was trying to look for a new one because it did great with this program. Like, for some reason, I can't do certain things with this tablet. Like, I was able to do with the the Wacom tablet, which is you know, you're, it's like a hundred or plus more dollars for just the tablet. Uh, ZBrush, this right here, the, for the whole program, I mentioned the price before, but they do have a free version of it. However, it, it's it's a sample. Basically, you can sculpt, but you won't have all these cool features that I'm, able, that I'm able to access. It's very useful, and I highly recommend it. If you really want to get to digital, you should probably get this one. There's other software, too, but I, I feel like this is the most closest thing to like traditional sculpting ever. Like I tried Mudbox a while ago. That was a long time ago. Ah, the, the eyebrows. I'm going to change that stroke to that, the curve. It has a lot of control in this software, too. A lot of control. You control all your brush. You customize alphas and masking. It's so nice. You can take an image and extrude the image out using SV, making it as an SVG file and then extruding it. It's so so nice. Uh, it makes me like create designs on T-shirts or stuff really quickly for my sculpts. I make heat chains and stuff very easily. Uh, we go ahead and go. I keep forgetting. Okay, snap, lock, and lock. There it goes. Sorry, okay. It took me a while to think about that. Now, see this here? Now, uh, I'm not too sure about how, uh, it didn't take me very long. The thing is, the, it wasn't really a sculpting aspect. It's kind of the flow of of sculpting. Like, I was about, uh, like, I was everywhere with it. Like, it wasn't, like, I would say 
to like get used to it is a matter of understanding how to Z model this and that because it's very different. Like traditional sculpting, you have to just kind of do it. I want to say there's rules to it. It's just there's things I didn't know about sculpting that kind of limited me. But the more the what I know now has been very freeing. It made things easier uh, because I started ZBrush in. I think no. I started I, when I started really getting into ZBrush, like digital. I started I think around November two thousand sixteen, so a little more than a year ago. It's like a year and like a couple months. And I've already done a lot already, like more than like I usually do with traditional, just because you know it's messy. It gets there's to take too much space at times. But you know if you make small little pieces, which is a great start, that's kind of what you want to do. Wait, what time is it? Okay, I think I'll I'll go. 10 minutes from now. I know I said that like seven minutes ago, but maybe maybe eight more minutes uh, But okay, so right here, you know, you go up to the stroke right here. You go ahead. I go to the curve modifier Let's go ahead and mess with the size curve fall off Put that there put this right here make that right there So it's wider in the middle of the eyebrows and then click on it uh, make it larger. Oh, not that large But I don't know like it I'm still getting used to it. Like it's not like perfect because I haven't really like trained like certain parts of it. If I really took the time, like I just kind of want to just sculpt. Like that's kind of one of my downsides is that I should really sit down for like a like a week and just kind of go online. There's a ZBrush has like a, some tutorials, especially like a, the the amazing Z Modeler program. The Z Modeler function is awesome. Like I would say I want to say it's like the best, but like artistic standpoint, it's very nice. You can't, the Z modeler, it's not like a CAD program where you can actually program dimensions and sizes to it. Uh, but there, you, you can control, there's, there's ways around where you can actually make it for like practical applications, but it's not as easy as some online CAD programs. Oh, what was I doing? Crud. I was going to this, this okay, struct menu right here. I was going to go ahead and tweak that. Probably what was this? Let's try that again. I'm going to go here. That's better. His eyes are more narrow, not narrow, more like pointed, like a lot of the anime characters. It's basically like eye shape. I don't know why I'm saying that. I would say because you know, heavy uh, uh, Ninja Diffusal, you saw my my Doom doll, right? My Doom doll sculpt I made a while ago. Um, hold on. Right, you seen it? Yeah, you did because that was made, I think, when I was like two months into ZBrush. I think I'm pretty sure. Let me check. Sculptor Doom Doll. I made the. I made it. Ah, my ears. Okay, I made it. Okay, now it says February 21st when it was published, but I made it earlier. I made it in January, I think. Uh, so that means I started like mid November. So yeah, it was about two months. I want to say that's where I got used to it. It's just that I felt comfortable with sculpting, especially something with that much detail. Well, that's because I had experience with sculpting already. I felt traditional has personally helped me with the sculpting aspect and I was able to pick up on digital pretty quickly. It's just a matter of learning it. It's developing the eye or the, the seeing the forms and stuff. That's looking pretty good right now. I don't know. I'm quite surprised with me talking. I'm surprised with how good it's going. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's kind of the unfortunate thing. So what happened was, there's a site site called Sketchfab. I'm sure you've probably seen the video, but I'm just saying, just a quick review of it. Recap is I uploaded on Sketchfab. It was not for download. All right. It was just for basically a portfolio kind of thing. People could view my work. Or I see it in 3D, but supposedly someone's like, oh, hey, it's on the internet. Oh, it's up for grabs. And if it's on the internet, it's for everyone. And then the guy takes it and then goes ahead and then uploads it on Thingiverse without crediting me or even telling me about it. I find out like months later after it's been uploaded, I'm like, all these uploads and these modifications from other people, I'm like, and no mention of me. I'm like, why does this model look just like mine? It's like pissing me off. I was like, and then I find the guy's channel, or not the guy's channel, but the guy's page, the first one that started it, the one that scanned it. I found everyone else. 
Yeah, it sucks big time because I worked. That was like one of the big, one of the bigger pieces that I was proud of. That for like starting on ZBrush, and it was originally for my brother as a gift. He mentioned it to me. I'm like, oh, that sounds a great idea. I'll make it because it was from his game Doom. Like he was playing that game. I was like, cool. I made it. You know, and of course, you know, like I had a couple other copies. So you know, just to kind of continue my sculpting, I sold those two copies, but. Still, it was considered fan art, and I miss. I, I was. I even took a bit of creative design along the back side of it, because what happens in the game, you can't see the back side, the back legs, like the lower half of it, from like I would say maybe the waist and down, because the way he holds it. So I designed that part, like from like referencing the the full guy, the regular Doom guy, and then tweaking the design to match the 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 style of the doll. So I took time in like kind of figuring that out. So it's kind of messed up. Someone just took my work, and then oops, I took my work and uh, did that. Just kind of just gave it out for free and things like that. When I didn't even like, I wanted people to see it, not like be able to use it, and I wasn't even credited. But okay, so let me look how this. Let me see how this piece looks so far. Let me go ahead and like I'm, I'm not done with this face or anything yet. But that's just kind of a start right there. Sometimes you just gotta do something, and then you'll come back to it. But yeah, as I said before, like I had experience with the. Uh, with um, trad tra you know, traditional sculpting, which has allowed me to actually pick up digital quite quickly. It's just a matter of learning the digital aspect, like the, I won't say rules, but like the the functions and just learning the software. The sculpting aspect not isn't that bad. It's just the understanding to be able to sculpt well. Oops. Stuff that I normally do takes a little extra work. But I think that's all I have time for, but I will see if I can go ahead and broadcast later tonight, uh, because uh, I don't know. If not, I'm gonna try editing the video then, and then try uploading it. I said that last time and I didn't upload anything, but I have so many videos that I've actually so much, so much footage that I have, I've recorded. I just haven't edited, just because it takes a while to edit. You know, cut it and find music for it. You know, it could take like an hour or two. <laughs> Well, yeah, at least an hour. But, uh, yeah, well, thanks for stopping by. Um, I hope you like it, and I hope to see you guys again. Uh, it was great seeing, uh, what is it, again? Erwin again. Uh, maybe I'll see you more, Ninja Diffusal Guy. Uh, welcome. I'll try, maybe, I want to make this a normal, a constant thing. I'll try to. I'll try to make sure it's entertaining. I won't be going through all my stuff like I did like I did today. Like where I'm showing all my work. I just been since it's been a while since I've actually shown anything on my channel that I just had to go over the stuff I was doing since I last uploaded. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Uh thanks Ninja. Uh hope to see you again in the next one. I hope I see uh um I mean, Erwin. Have <laughs> I guess like slipping my mind. All right. Uh, I hope you guys have a good day or good morning, considering Ninja is in uh, in Asia. <laughs> good morning. So, yeah. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day then. All right, and bye.